So, 30 seconds about me, so you know that I kind of know what I'm talking about. Um, up until uh, this year, for the past six years, I was uh, Deputy CEO of Badoo, which is the world's largest dating platform. And um, during my time there, I approached a young woman who I believed in and I thought would do something um, very exciting, and we launched Bumble, which is an exciting dating app, which some of you may or may not know, depending on how single or not you are. Um, and this year, I left to start my own app, which is called P Peanut, which is an app for young women who happen to be mamas to also meet each other dating-ish. Um, so I've done the big multi-million dollar company, I've backed the startup, and now I'm doing exactly the same as you guys, which is I'm out there on my own trying to do it on my own. And it's scary, right? <laughs> scary. So um, big question, how do you know if you've been successful? What will you look at on the way to establish if it's working? What are your KPIs, your key performance indicators? So you've got your roadmap here, um, and you've, you've worked out when I'm going to do my market research, when I'm going to launch, when I'm going to launch my performance marketing. So that's cool. But the key to establish whether all of it's worth it is, is it working? What will I look at to work out whether that's working? And if you guys are going to take money from investors, you better know how you're going to measure it because they're going to ask you. And more than that, they're going to make you stand behind it before they give you more money and they continue backing you if you go back to them. So you really, really need to understand what it is that you're going to look at to measure your success. Don't be too hard on yourselves, though. You can buy yourself some, some room in that, but make sure that it really is reflective of success. And success just can't be, um, I'm going to be the number one skincare brand, that's a goal. That's awesome. And I totally back that. But you've got to have a KPI to show how you're going to measure that. So establishing KPIs, they give you control of what you're doing. Without them, let's be honest, we're just guessing and there's no control and guesswork. So my five tips, if you want to write them down, you can. Otherwise, you can watch this back. I'm sure it will be online somewhere. Um, in no particular order. Make sure your KPIs um, are capable of being measured and are realistic. So, as I said, to be number one in skincare is a goal, but it's not a KPI. How are you going to measure it? I'll be stocked in X number of outlets with sales of Y by year Z. That's a KPI. So you have to really break down what your goal is and then how you're going to get there and how you're going to measure that. Go easy on yourself. Like I said, use ranges if you can. Try not to give flat numbers. I'll have X thousand dollars of sales, but rather try and say something like sales will double at the end of year one and will be in the region of X to Y. You, you can buy yourself some room there. It's more realistic. And again, if you're going out to investors so that they'll try and back you into your next round of fundraising, if you've given a stark figure, they're going to pin you to it. So try and buy some flexibility. Use a mixture of um, data and opinion for your KPIs. I think someone else mentioned this earlier, but give a little subjectivity. So I'll have uh, sales in the region of X, but my customers will consider my brand to represent good value. Make sure you speak to your customers. Make sure you're out there understanding what they want. Stay on your toes and be agile to change your KPIs. If you got them wrong, you're going to think your business is rosy, but actually something is not working. I'm going to use a tech example. don't know how many people in here are doing tech, but just as a tech example. Um, no point in saying, I've got X number of registrations if your engagement is zero and no one's using it on a daily basis. Wrong measure, wrong KPI, quick change it. Um, vanity stats. Totally cool with vanity stats. Save them for PR. Amazing. We all know the, the vanity stats. Totally amazing to get an article which talks about the millions of impressions, the number of likes, the number of shares. That's all awesome. Love that. But unless you've got um, the real numbers for you guys, you won't know whether you're being successful. So save that for when you want to go out and get the big stories. So where would I start in working out what my KPIs are? I don't know how much you guys are kind of, how far along you are in your businesses, some of you, but this is what I did when I kind of started many, many years ago and I wanted to really understand what I was looking at in the business I was working for. I went and downloaded the last um, set of accounts from a public company. Go look at Facebook, go get a coffee, download Facebook's accounts and read the um, director's report and the notes. So all power to you if you want to go through the P&L and the balance sheet, totally like 
amazing. But really, go for the director's note, uh, the director's letter. That's going to tell you what the directors were particularly happy with, what they want to showcase, what they were proud of, what they were using as their KPIs. Then go to the notes and work out what they were concerned about that they don't really want to flag in their um, covering letter. So I would just go and get the accounts and sit and work out what are they reporting on and why. If you can work that out and, and it's a comp company that is in some way analogous to you, you can work out what yours should be. That's what I would do. Sorry, my phone locked. Hang on. Technical error. Hang on. So, I'd start with, for me, lifetime value of your customers. User customer retention is X. Revenue is increasing by X. Break even is at Y. All of those things that you know will put you on the right track to success. So, very quickly, because I know I'm being pushed. Um, has anyone heard of Gary V here? Yeah, okay. For those of you who haven't, I strongly, strongly recommend you go and check him out on YouTube. I'm obsessed with this guy. Um, if you're ever having a bad day and you're feeling like things are going wrong, go and watch one of his videos. You're going to hustle much harder. His ethos is amazing. He's always on about, you know, you're going to outwork someone. That's how you're going to win. Here's what he says about metrics, which if you take nothing else from what I've said, listen to Gary Vee.